Hi there. We mentioned uh, previously that the elbow strike is very versatile because there are many variations of it. And today we're going to discuss the rear elbow strike and that in itself also has quite a few different variations and different angles of application as we will see. Now, in the main, the rear elbow is a situational uh, application, mainly for self-protection. It's to deal with an attack from the rear. However, the, the one version um, that you, you see quite a bit in sport is the spinning elbow. And you saw the picture of Paddy um, winning uh, a, a tournament with a spinning elbow and you also see it in mixed martial arts but the purpose of this um, presentation is mainly to talk about self-protection and um, when I was teaching uh, Goju uh, there was a chap who who joined and after a couple of lessons he, he came to me and he said that he was a taxi driver and he was worried about being attacked by people in the back of the taxi. This was in the days before they had plexiglass screens between the uh, driver and the passengers. Uh, and, um, you know, he'd like to learn something to um, counter that. Anyway, to, to be honest, I never really give it much thought. And then a, a couple of weeks later, he came to me again. He said, look, he said, you know, things do get tense. I'm working at night and so on. So I said, well, the only thing I can suggest for that situation, somebody grabs you around the throat from behind and he's going after your money, is a back elbow strike. So I included that in the class that night. Um, we, we started practicing it. And then um, I didn't see him for a couple of weeks. And then he popped in. He didn't train. He, he just He was waiting as I arrived and he said, Thank you for that. It worked. Somebody uh, grabbed me around the throat. I hit him with the back elbow and um, solved the problem. So he got what he wanted from the martial arts. Uh, and in that particular instance, the um, back elbow was the, um, the answer to his problem. And I, I had remembered in the series on... Uh, self-defense by um, Master Nakayama they had um, some situations based in vehicles and uh, the back elbow uh, featured in that I've re reviewed that book by the way so um, in this presentation we'll look at how we use the uh, back elbow in its various ways and um, we'll start with um, really what you might call the worst case scenario. Okay. But the rear elbow, classically, it's taught from full extension. In the kata or karate, you get it like this, sometimes double, okay? Uh, and you, you build up a, a lot of power that way. However, situationally, the rear elbow would be used against people attacking you from behind, and worst case scenario would be a bear hook over your arms. So it'd be difficult to extend your arms. If someone's grabbing you and you can do that, you probably don't need to elbow them because you've got, you're stronger than them anyway. You burst out of it. So what we've come up with is to face that situation, it's a very constricted elbow strike where you just do this action. And you come round and you follow the line of your own ribs. You must hit him because he's directly behind you. Okay? You will always, any rear attack, try and get your balance forward so he doesn't pull you back. 
and strike directly into him. Okay? Okay, so to apply the drill, uh, you can use uh, a standard kick pad, but a body shield uh, from boxing is ideal. And this one uh, we bought many years ago, it's really thick, it'll take knee strikes, take elbows, it's really, really good. But this technique, it's ideal. So, I'm in body contact with my assailant from behind, and we're going to do the uh, tightening the belt technique. Okay. So what, what this drill is, Sai's going to do the back elbow, tightening the belt twice to one side, and then high elbow round to the other side. This takes his attention up there, he then drops one down to the same side, and then finishes with the opposite side. It's a drill designed to maximise the surprise and allow you to escape. This is uh, one of many drills that we've used over the years to um, practice uh, the rear elbow uh, in various ways. So uh, this is one you can try with a couple of partners. We're going to look at an application of the elbow. The elbow is a very versatile technique. It can be used in many directions, up, down, sideways, to the rear, etc. This particular technique was uh, taught to me by Terry O'Neill. He was telling me about an incident he'd had and he'd used this technique and I said I wasn't familiar with it. And he explained it and it's a rear raking technique. So basically, where we have the straight elbow to the rear, and you can also have a, a, a round elbow to the rear, this one comes up, like so. It's okay, it's okay. Then I say the angle. Comes up. Okay, so basically it can hit the guy anywhere from the abdomen to under the chin. So it's pretty uh, useful technique. Uh, as I say, I wasn't familiar with it, but apparently it is in a, a classical kata or Kelsikan somewhere, and that's where Teddy got, got me from. For training, what we're going to do is your partner's going to have um, the tie pad, and you notice he's got his, his face down away just in place. And so it can be here, but he can move it a little bit higher uh, at random. So I don't know where it is, so I'm not always going to find it exactly where I think it is, it might be higher than that. So the technique is Okay, rear breaking elbow.
what we're going to do is incorporate the rating elbow into a drill where we combine it in a logical sequence. So we've got a horizontal type hat and a vertical type hat. Sai is going to demonstrate the techniques. It could be two strikes, two strikes, then hook up and two knees to finish. So there you have um, many of the variations of the uh, use of the elbow for a rear attack. As you can see, it's quite versatile. Uh, you can develop quite a lot of impact, even in the compressed elbow strike, if you practice it enough uh, on the pads, on the big shield, uh, you can generate a fair amount of impact. The high uh, round elbow lots of impact with that as well add your body turn to it you're not constricted so you can put body movement into it um, as i mentioned in the the first elbow video you have to use body dynamics as much as you can generate that shock impact as much as possible so uh, you really need to uh, train this stuff with a partner um, and to uh, use impact pads and then progress to situations, scenario work uh, and spontaneous drills.